Okay, in this video, we're going to go over something called inequalities, and this is just an introduction. And let's just call this one part one, okay? Because there's actually a couple things about inequalities that I'd like to go over, but I don't want to have each of these videos go too long. And this is covering, covering the common core state standards in high school algebra on creating uh, equations, but actually also inequalities in standard A1. And we're going to go over two things with inequalities, just the types of inequalities there are and what does it look like on a number line, okay? So think of an inequality as being something similar to an equation. All right, so let me just write this in here real quickly. Equation as being, if you want, the opposite end of an inequality. Now, you can, if you take these words apart, you can kind of see what the difference is, right? An equation means something that's pretty much equator that is equal. And inequality is something that is not equal. So how do you write down the two? Now, equations have to have equal signs, right? Because on one side of the equal sign, on the other side of the equal sign, they would be exactly the same quantity, uh, volume, whatever it might be. But with an inequality, it's exactly imbalanced, okay? So we can't use these equal signs. There are actually five types of inequality signs, and they are the following. This one, which means it's greater than. This one, which means it's less than. This one is greater than or equal to. This one is less than or equal to. And then one that we don't use all that often, but it's just an equal sign crossed out, which means that these, are, these quantities are not equal to one another. Now, what does it look like? All right, let's just try an equation. Let's do something like, you know, 2x plus 1 is equal to 5. And we have a fairly good idea on how to solve that, right? If we want to keep both sides balanced, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other. So in this particular problem, I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. I'm going to end up with 2x is equal to 4. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And I'm going to end up with x is equal to 2. And what I have done is this part of the problem step four is exactly the same as that part of the problem. These are equivalent expressions. They both equal two. They just look like they're in different forms. If I were to graph that answer on a number line, okay, it would basically be just this. One, two, there's the answer. And I would just put a dot right there. Now with an inequality, it's going to look a little different. Let me show you how it would look on a number line, okay? Let's say I have 2x plus 1 less than or equal to 5. Now, I'm not going to do anything different in terms of how I go about, quote, solving this problem, okay? I'm going to pretend, for example, that that inequality is not there. I'm just going to use it and, and just use an equal sign. So let me subtract 1 from both sides. I'm going to come up with 2x is less than or equal to 4. Next step, divide by 2. And I'm going to come up with x is less than or equal to 2. Now here's where the difference comes in. So I use exactly the same rules as my equation. The difference is in terms of how it's graphed. Now, again, here's my number line, 1, 2. And I'm just going to go negative down here, OK? Because it's equal to 2, I'm going to put the dot on there, and it's going to be filled in. But because it's less than, it means that I want all the x's that are also less than 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color it in in that direction. And you can see the difference between the two answers, right? This is going to include any point that is going to be equal to 2 but also less than. And this one is going to be only equal to 2. Now, how would I just check this? I would just choose any number that is shaded. Let's just choose, like, uh, I don't know, 0, for example. And let's plug it into the original inequality. So I'd say 2 times 0 
plus 1 should be less than or equal to 5. 2 times 0 we know is 0 plus 1. And again, we know that 1 is indeed less than or equal to 5. So this actually does end up working. Okay? Now, when it has an equal sign, you fill in, fill in the dot. Okay, so for this one, for example, and this one, fill in the dot, okay, on the number line if you needed to graph it. And this is also called graphing, by the way. When it's an inequality like this without an equal sign, you leave the dot open, open dot, okay, and an open dot on this one as well. So, for example, if this would be just x is less than 2, then I would just have an open dot here, not fill it in, and again, point in the direction of the arrow and fill it in in that direction. Okay, again, so it's an important point. Fill in whatever direction the arrow is pointing. Okay. And that's the first introduction. We'll do a part two later on.